how moon sarvasti vadis were involved in ajanta yeah it's a difficult question and uh, it's a new research uh there's a lot of research being done in the last 100 years and some of the narratives were identified in the first half of the 20th century then also in the later half of the 20th century and more research has recently been done by professor shumla of germany and now we have uh, uh, much more uh, clear clear knowledge about this and this is now established that we have <coughs> roughly half the fated narratives are from the mul sarvastivada texts now these mul sarvastivada texts were written in sanskrit and uh, the gilgit manuscript uh we have found gilgit manuscript and some of it has been translated uh, and uh, a large part of it has still not been translated but the other set was found in turfan in, in the german expedition uh and now in the last one or two decades as the chinese and uh, uh, tibetan lot of manuscripts are now being digitized and put into public domain and there's a lot of translation work going on so that tells us that a lot of these mul sarvastivadin texts were translated from the original sanskrit into tibetan mongolian khotanese tocharian b etc so uh, it really opens a new world of knowledge for us for ajanta study because earlier we connected the uh, all the uh, narratives here of the earlier period ajanta and the later period ajanta to the pali texts so now we know that that is not entirely correct so we have a new information but this new knowledge also presents many uh, uh, many new questions one of them is where did mul sarvastivad come from and what happened in ajanta so here is a new research professor walter spink has also done a tremendous amount of research and he has done a great service to the knowledge of ajanta and i have a difference of opinion with him on finer details but his larger framework of ajanta the dating of ajanta uh, is uh, is largely uh, valid and correct i have done a lot of verification so according to him the second phase of ajanta that is the 5th century of ajanta it happened from 462 up to 477 ad so he has provided about 15 to 16 years at the maximum 17 years he has provided or 18 years because after 477 ad you had another uh, period of 2 years up to 480 ad when some so called intrusive images were done i will explain later about what these intrusive images are but this time bracket 462 to 477 ad has undergone tremendous amount of scrutiny by other peer scholars and most of them now seem to agree that uh, this is a tolerably good uh, dating for the second period of ajanta once we agree here then we can start probing about this mul sarvastivadi all right so here we have to combine the research of walter spink with the german research and with the um, uh, 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 you know a uh, uh, multidisciplinary research from epigraphy from buddhist studies from textual studies from coins inscriptions local dynasties iconography all right and um, uh, so so this is a multidisciplinary kind of research uh, that is that is required to answer this question of mul sarvastivadi and uh, my own research in the last few years i have conducted a massive uh, uh, a uh, exhaustive uh, uh, research on these sources and uh, it appears to me that when the 5th century caves started in ajanta during 460 ad according to professor walter spink 
which I have slightly revised in my latest works recently. In 2020, I have published a few works, some articles and two books, in which I have proposed that the beginning year for Ajanta, uh, for Ajanta second period of Ajanta, should be 460 and not 462. I have described some reasons. Here I am not able to explain to you because the reasons will be too detailed. Uh, but I personally believe that in 460 AD things started. It's a very slight revision in Professor Spink's dating. And uh, so when uh, Ajanta began in 460 AD along with Bagh and some work was happening in Elora and uh, uh, there are 17 sites where things began uh, simultaneously during Harisena period. And so earlier it was the Pali Buddhism only, Theravada Buddhism only. It was, it was the stupa worshippers. But during the process, within four years or five years, some disturbance happened in Gandhara. And people had to flee from there. And they came to this land. And they brought the Mula Sarvastivadin scriptures from there. And that was introduced here in Ajanta and in Bag and many other places in Deccan. It, is a, it was a radical change. And I will explain to you later on about this very complex subject. So this is simply a very short answer to where Mul Sarvastivadin come from.